Any one of us can help a loved one, a teammate, or a colleague who might experience a sudden cardiac arrest. This video will review what a sudden cardiac arrest is and why immediate action is needed. It will teach the steps that you can take to help a victim until emergency services arrive. We will also provide resources on where to receive additional training or certification in your community. Doing something to help a victim experiencing sudden cardiac arrest is critical and minutes matter. It can take anywhere from six to 13 minutes for first responders to arrive. Every minute delayed in treating a sudden cardiac arrest victim decreases survival by 10%. Let's get started. What is a sudden cardiac arrest? Sudden cardiac arrest is a life-threatening emergency that occurs when the heart suddenly stops beating. It affects people of all ages who may seem healthy. When a sudden cardiac arrest happens, the person collapses and becomes unresponsive with possible gasping or shaking, as if having a seizure. Sudden cardiac arrest leads to death in minutes if the person does not get help immediately. Survival depends on calling 911, starting CPR, and using an automated external defibrillator, or AED, as soon as possible. Hands-only CPR is when you push hard and fast on the center of the chest to make the heart pump. Compressions may be given with or without rescue breaths. CPR helps push blood through a person's body when their heart has stopped beating. An AED is a device that analyzes the heart and if it detects a problem, may deliver a shock to restart the heart. Now, let's walk through the steps to take while demonstrating these life-saving actions. What are the steps I can take to help? Tap the victim and shout to check their responsiveness. Hey, 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 are you okay? Do you need help? If the person is not responding, these are steps you can take to help. First, call 911 immediately. A dispatcher is an expert to help you in an emergency, and they will remain on the phone with you until help arrives. Next, send someone to get an AED. AEDs are found in many public places, such as schools, grocery stores, parks, and airports. Put your phone on speakerphone so you have two hands to begin chest compressions. Begin chest compressions. Put the heel of one hand in the center of the chest and cover your other hand and interlock your fingers. Straighten your arms and lock your elbows so that your body weight is over your hands. You will push hard and fast on the center of the chest. Compressions will be a depth of two inches and a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute. Don't worry about pushing hard on the chest. A victim that is not responding needs your help and you will not hurt them. Using an AED may seem scary or intimidating, but it is intended for anyone to use. Once the AED arrives, you will open it and turn it on. Once an AED is turned on, it will talk you through the next steps. Take the victim's shirt off and place one pad over the right side of the chest, just below the collarbone and the other on the left side of the chest. The pads are placed in these positions to deliver a shock across the heart. Continue chest compressions until the AED tells you to stop. The AED is analyzing the heart rhythm to decide if a shock is needed. If a shock is advised, the AED will tell you to stand clear. You will either be told to press the shock button or a shock will automatically be delivered. If a shock is not advised, the unit will tell you to continue chest compressions. Do not remove the pads from the victim. Continue CPR and follow the AED voice instructions until EMS arrives or the victim regains consciousness. Let's review how you can help a victim that is not responding. Call 911 immediately and get an AED if one is available. Begin CPR using chest compressions. Continue CPR and follow the AED instructions until EMS arrives to take over. What if the victim is a child? 
Performing CPR and AED rescue on a child is very similar to an adult. A child is over the age of one to approximately 12 years old. The main difference is CPR should involve delivering two rescue breaths, a sudden cardiac arrest in children may be due to a breathing problem. To give breaths, tilt the child's head back by lifting the chin up, plugging the nose, and giving two breaths. You will see the child's chest rise and fall. Continue CPR, delivering 30 chest compressions and two breaths. Once the AED arrives, you will turn it on and apply the smallest set of pads to the bare chest and listen to the prompts. Continue CPR and AED rescue until the child is responsive or EMS arrives. Thank you for joining us today to learn these life-saving skills. Any one of us can help a loved one, a teammate, or a colleague who might experience sudden cardiac arrest. Remember, the 911 dispatcher will be with you along the way. Chest compressions involve pushing hard and fast on the chest, and AEDs are easy to use. Remember, here are the steps to help an adult, a teen, or a child that is unresponsive. Step one, call 911 immediately and get an AED if one is available. Step two, begin CPR using chest compressions. Give two breaths if the victim is a child. Step three, continue CPR and follow the AED instructions until EMS arrives to take over. We encourage you to get additional practice or training in your own community.